What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Final Fantasy 7, the remaster, the remake that's coming to PlayStation 4 at least first and then possibly PC and Xbox One. Now, this is a game that I'm super excited about. You all know that. Everybody saw my Final Fantasy 7 uh, E3 reaction video uh, <laughs> and I'm still excited about it. Am I as excited about it? Not so much. I mean, uh, I know that a game like this is going to take quite a bit of time for them to get polished and ready uh, and ready to be shipped out there to the masses. I know that, you know, Square has tons on their plate right now. They got the Kingdom Hearts stuff going on, Kingdom Hearts 2.8. They got Final Fantasy 15. They got this game, and now they're going to start remastering some of their older Final Fantasy games as well. So they got like, a, I'm sure that they're kind of like Marvel right now. They can see all the way to 2025 with the stuff that they're going to be making. And if you ask me, I'd rather them take their time and do it right. You know, baby, we can do it. Take your time. Do it right. Do it right. Uh, rather than screw it up and pretty much put a bad taste in the mouth of all gamers. Certain games, guys, deserve a little bit of respect. Final Fantasy is one of them. And some people will say Final Fantasy VI. I would agree. Some people would say Final Fantasy VII. I would agree. Some would say twelve, And I would agree. These games deserve a ton of respect. And if you're going to remaster them and make them for a new generation, a new audience... They, they need to be preserved uh, in the most pristine way, and, and very little needs to be changed, just enhanced. And so, when it comes to Final Fantasy the Remake, uh, there's a lot of hope that this game is going to be soon. It's going to be a three-part series. Of course, we know that. Now, it's going to be broken up into segments. Each segment is going to be the size of Final Fantasy 13, so it's going to be a full-size game three times. Which The only scary part about that notion is is you're going to be paying probably $60 three times for Final Fantasy VII. Now, if they make it worthwhile, hell yeah, I'd pay for it. I don't know. This is like a whole new precedent in gaming. But today we're going to talk about the possible release date and what I think and pretty much what the developer thinks. I'll drop a link in the description. Final Fantasy VII release date. Tetsuya Nomura reveals big PS4 announcement plans. The Final Fantasy VII Remake has a big announcement coming up, and PS4 fans are hoping that it could be more on the eventual release date. While Square Enix has been clear in the past that a firm launch date is still some ways off, it's been over a year since the Final Fantasy VII project was announced. Yoshinori Kitase teased back in January 2016 that the coming months would be very important for the Final Fantasy VII Remake project. Speaking to Famatsu, Kitase explained, quote, I believe that this year will still be the year of preparation for Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'd like to create a new kind of value for the hardware that is the PlayStation 4 for our next announcement." End quote. It was also announced in December 2015 that the Final Fantasy VII Remake would be using Epic Games' Unreal Engine 4 instead of Square Enix in-house equivalent. Now, in a recent interview, game director Tetsuya Nomura also confirmed that the new Final Fantasy VII announcement is coming. We plan to bring a whole lot out in one go instead of dribs and drabs, so please look forward to it. I'm looking forward to the reveals myself. I still don't know the timing of what we'll be able to show you next, so I can't give any details, but please be excited. The fans are hoping for a Final Fantasy VII release date to be announced or possibly just a target window of holiday 2017. So, uh, I don't even know if 2017 is really a, a, a realistic point of view here or, or expectation. We've been waiting for Final Fantasy 15 since, you know, since Moses part of the Red Sea. It's been a long, long time uh, that Final Fantasy 15 has been in the oven. Uh, and, uh, you know, Square Enix, they don't just pull the trigger. They like to pull it when they feel confident that the, the game stands up to the quality they like. And honestly, I, I don't mind that. But my only issue is if you show a game at E3 2013, 2014, and the game doesn't come out until 2018, then that's it's unrealistic expectations. You're making people excited about something that... They might be in a different area, a different part of their life by the time the game comes out. You know, if you show a kid a game and the, by the time they play it, they're an adult. They might not feel the same way they did when they first saw the reveal. So for me, I would prefer them to show these games maybe two years off. You know, show a game, re reveal a game when it's already been in development for two years. You know, that's when you do the reveal. Don't do a reveal when you've got guys sitting at a round table talking about what this game might be. You know, Final Fantasy VII might be an exception to the rule because the story's already been written, the game has already been made. So pr pretty much they just look at that template, remake it, and new hardware. But like I said, with Square, they got so much on their plate, it's just hard for me to imagine, you know, anything earlier than the end of 2017. Uh, I'm hoping that we get this game 
sometime next year. You know, I'm I'm optimistic and I'm hoping that we do. Uh, but at the same time, I really don't want them to screw it up. You guys know how remakes are. You guys know how it is when someone feels like they have a, a grander scope or a greater design or idea than the person who, you know, originated that idea. So I just hope that they, they give this game the respect that it's due. It sounds like they've got a lot coming uh, sometime soon as far as announcements go. And uh, hopefully we can get our hands on the first disc. Imagine if they came out at Tokyo Game Show and said, you know, disc one will be available in March or something. I'd flip out. I'd go crazy. You guys let me know what you guys think. Do you think that we're going to see this game in 2017? Uh, are they going to just release all three discs? Or do you, do you think they're going to release one one year and then we got another year to wait? I think that would be really, really screwed up because, you know, the first disc, if you play it all the way through and you spend 50, 60 hours beating the first disc and then you have to wait for another year, by the time that other disc comes out, you're going to forget everything that you've done. You're going to have to backtrack. You know what I'm talking about. When you watch a TV show and then after that season that you're watching goes off and you got to wait till the next season. And then when it comes around for the next season, you got to go back and watch the last three episodes just to see what the hell happened. I don't want that same thing happen with Final Fantasy VII. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching my video. Please give a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video. It really does help my channel. Share it on your favorite social media websites, Twitter, follow me on Facebook, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.